hi people welcome back to my youtube channel in this video today i want to react you know i react mostly yeah so this video is about the reaction video of a pastor in nigeria so he was saying that some people from nigeria that were relocating to ghana are coming to give testimony for get for getting ghana visa you know he said like they see it as a very big achievement that they are moving to another country so i want to say a lot of things about this and as well i saw a reaction of a person too reacting i saw a guy reacting i don't know i'm missing up the boat i don't know which one of them actually was that reacted to that so i don't want to mention i don't want to mistake people so in that video that the man was saying so that person also react okay i think is your mr ghana so he also reacted the yeah, react and said that and um, okay I think I wrote that. Is that why people are actually rushing to Ghana as uh, instead of going to abroad when they don't see a, the opportunity to travel out of the country, like going to America, Canada, you know? So, why they are actually coming to Ghana is because they heard about the electricity, that their electricity 24 7, that as an Nigerian that they have, they don't normally see electricity, there's no light. So, why won't that be something that will move them to want to come to Ghana? And he also mentioned that. They think see this is better than Naira because when they all the information when they give them information that okay in Ghana eh, our money we can convert it to this so they are comparing it to Nigerian home like okay well, this is much more money so they want to make much more money they want to make more money that's why they are running to Ghana first of all one thing the first thing I will talk about is that we Nigerian ah uh, I don't know. I want to say 99 percent but i feel like we, it's not that bad a lot of nigerian people is it that young people it's not only young people that were doing that thing rushing and rolling out of the country even the and um, married people who want to pack their family and relatives and go to other countries first of all i think we never valued our country yeah they don't value their country. They don't see anything good in their country. You know, it feels like that's where you have been living. So you want to go to another place. You, want, you just you don't want to stay here. So you feel like, you know, some people high and long. You know, so there are some kind of people. You see a young child here in Nigeria that will be talking about $10,000 million. And that child does not even have 10000 naira in his or her hands. Imagine how will that child actually earn that kind of money that his eye was in. So that is exactly the character of those people. They just wanted all means. When they don't even they don't even know how to earn it, but by hearing the name, their head will just be coming up like, hey, this is money, this is money. You get it? That is it. And secondly, talking about electricity, electricity in Nigeria is not that bad, bro. You know, I watched a video and I don't know, it's a long time ago, like, I mean, maybe like nine months ago, I did a reaction as well to your video, but I watched that video, I didn't see anything about it. You said that in Nigeria, there's no electricity. You talk as, as if Nigeria is a village that there is no light at all. Like, they just actually they'll just bring light, maybe once in a month. That's how you make it sound. Like, even if they bring it that once in a month, it's going to be like for 10 minutes and they will take it back. Guys, if this if thing is you know always the same thing exactly as how it is, that's the problem I always have with two people. Don't come and be giving people misled information. Just like you said in the recent video of yours now that I'm reacting to that. And if you want to tell them that they should be coming to Ghana, if you don't have people that were very, very well, they are very, very okay, that have money and are having job that can put food to their table they shouldn't come to Ghana. So you tell them that it's not like it's easy in Ghana. And as much as we are comparing the money, like, okay, the city, so you feel like in Naira, the city is much more, right? Some people feel like that. So if you feel like that, what they are using that city to buy in Ghana, how cost everything is in Ghana, do you calculate that one? If you calculate it, you see that you are even shorting, like that's shorting, a lot of shortages. Like, do you know how cost things is? Like things are there. They always said, even their people always say that Ghana is expensive. Nigeria is, eh, you may see Naira as maybe this Naira is not like, it's not enough. Hearing about the amount of money. But what we are buying here, it makes it feel like it's enough because 
it's not art. Like it's gonna be for you there when you go there without making any plan. And he also talk about that they don't normally um what am I going to say? They don't normally accept Nigerian to work. They don't normally give Nigerian work in Ghana. That uh, even uh, n- not to talk of now that things are very, very hard in Ghana. So they don't give Nigerian work before. Well, they don't give you work. Like, I think even you people that were giving them information in Ghana, Ghana is you Ghanaian people, you this Ghana people. You are the one that is causing problems. Stop blaming it on Nigeria and say, Nigeria people are never this. Nigeria people, they do this. You are the one that was causing this. You will come online and I'll be bragging, I'll be faking lies. I'll be saying, ha, our money, 1,000 CDs, change it to kidney. Ah, Naira, Naira cannot stand. Naira cannot stand beside it. Why your things are very, very costly. And they already wanted to, don't, they have choked you, like seriously, dear. You wouldn't tell them that, that ah, Ghana is that, though. The money, don't be deceived by the money. Money is just like a number, a name that they just call. With, without even like, within 10 minutes or 5 minutes, tell them that you spend that much money that you call cities. You spend it finish if you're not careful. Let them know that information very, very well. Stop misleading people. You understand? Stop doing that. Tell them exactly. You know, if you're telling people about the negative um, positivities and everything, always let them know the uh, negativities too. That is why wow, they will not make mistakes. So you will not deceive them when they now come to Ghana. When they still come to Ghana, or that Ghana that you are dragging them to, you will not give them work. Hmm? They are supposed to work, to be earning money, to be hating, to be doing anything they wanted to do. So when they now come there, you don't give them work. They are talking about it. No work in Nigeria. That's why they are coming to your place. When you tell them that you are working, you are having money. When they now come there, you don't give them work. You now say they are stealing. They are doing something. They are doing criminalities. Are you not the cause of their criminalities? Uh, attitude or character, whatever they call it. Are you not the cause? Blame it on yourself. Who wants to blame this thing? You have 50 50 faults. First of all, even people that were working, they are doing illegality. Not to talk about people that you didn't give work. So you don't want them to come there and be starving, right? Don't give them information to call when you know that there is no work. Tell them that there is money and the money is Ujo, when you call it. But you will not see any job to be done. Let it play. Yes, those are some Nigerian living in Ghana that will be giving information about Nigeria. They will not make it seem like nothing is good at all at all. And they make it feel like Ghana is perfect. So your head will not be saying, those Ghana people are like, yes, in Ghana. Yes, in Ghana, they will not be like this. And then I think you are like people that when they are just praising you, like even if they if they, even if they were deceiving you, you will be happy and be like this. They don't be doing like this to you. See this all. Like seriously. Really? And you make Nigeria feel like it's small when Nigeria is big. I think the actually the reason why Nigeria is still growing their power. Because they're helping us, they are covering this. Why they are covering it, why they are actually trying to cover it up. I'm making you feel like you are big. You don't really work hard toward what you are supposed to work hard to. Like, okay, let's work hard, let's push harder. You wouldn't work hard. You just feel like you are, you are better already. You don't need to stay. The reason you are saying they are not better, they will keep on working and they will keep on living and living and living. That is where your problem is. Yes. That is it. So, back to the uh, discussion about the Mr. Pastor. Actually, that Nigeria are like that. You know, sometimes some Nigerian. They not really wanted to stay in the country, you understand. Just wanted to run away. And I don't have any issue with you running away. But the problem is, why you run away? And so people are here in Nigeria trying to, you run away like a coward that you are, you know? And people that wanted to take responsibilities stay in Nigeria, stay back. It's not like some people do not have money to travel out. They just do not go. Or they don't have people. People that have people that have money do not travel out with their people. People that do not have anybody are people that will be running away that you see running away traveling you know really seriously so you now go there hmm. when you not get there now they not be bad martin nigeria when they go to america or canada that they, that they hear when they are where they are running away from their responsibilities here so those people that are now still here you not be insulting them you not still be bad martin the same country that people are trying to build up you run away you're supposed to stay on your list, stay where you are. Guys, you can easily just collect the paper and belong to that place. Be their citizen. Don't come to Nigeria again since you hate Nigeria that much. 
Come back, multi in this country. You are not going to make any change. You are not making any changes. You are making it worse. When you are in strangers town, I mean strangers country, you are another person's country, another man's country. Where they can chase you and do it anyhow the ones because you are not their family, you're not relatives at all. And here that you are really that you can actually run to whenever you have issues as well, you have problem or you have uh goodness. You see, most of them if they are doing something great, you not see them actually doing helping their people. You not see them helping their people. No, they won't do that. They will rather still be insulting people and be bad matter and be saying you are not doing well. You are not hard working, you know? Not that they be. But if they have problem, they will run back to Nigeria. I don't I don't understand this kind of people, you know. I don't know this kind of people. I don't just get and I don't know even have anything to do. They don't chase you away, they don't do anything. I don't know if it's only in Nigeria, but I'm sure everybody have every kind of people you see here, you will see them everywhere as well. That when they are when things are sweet, they will not come to you and they okay, come and enjoy you out of this sweetness and joy. But when it's bitter, they will not come to you that you don't even have much like they do when they have, they will not come to you and be burden to you. It's not nice. You have money on your head, you are saying, ah, who should I give this money? Why you don't have, when you are struggling, don't you know who gave it to you? Why don't you go and give it to that kind of person or their children and help them to that? Oh, your parents are not like this. You won't know. So why you not spend this money? You are not come and still be burdened to those people that happy that you don't even see what you are enjoying. That's no good. That is challenge. The chapter is it actually seems like ingrates people. It's not nice. Let's change. We are looking for change and asking for change. And every single day, you people will be saying, ah, our government is not good. Nigeria, ah, Nigeria is bad. How our government too. You will be shouting our government. That is how it started though. It's starting from how you are now. You need to check yourself, like what you are doing. If you are to be part of the government people that you are talking about, are you not going to make things worse than what they are doing? That's why I don't normally blame government. Even right now, I don't blame government. Even you people say, hey, if it's this one, she will do it. No, this one is the one that can do it. That one is the one that can do it. We are only deceiving ourselves. Only God that only God is the one that can do it. No one, nobody can do it. Every one of them, the person you say, if you get it, if you get it, you will do better. No, he may even do worse than what the person that is here today doing. That person may do worse. Go and ask. From that person in background or people that were closer to that person, like who, what kind of person is this person? You are just seeing people based on what they are telling you outside, or you are just they are just feeling and wanting to show you. You don't see the other thing. So some people are great at acting, they can act very well and make you believe that they are perfect. By the end of the day, you will regret it. So that is this thing is between people normally, not talk of people that is from government, people, high people, you know, and just using it to judge. It's, you know, I'm judging it with itself. But it actually matches it. You understand? I don't know. We can't be doing like that. So Lily also said in one of his videos, oh, one of our videos, your favorite YouTuber, your Ghana, Ghana favorite YouTuber, you, Lily. So Sister Lily also said that people want to see Ghana through you. So we should be giving them full, uh, um, we should be giving them information about Ghana because you talk she talk about it that okay well, some people will not watch your video again if you don't talk about Ghana you have been talking about Ghana again and can you come she take Ghana as if you don't talk about Ghana at all nobody will watch it that's because your own viewers like I don't know I don't want to <laughs> maybe hey let me say this. yes yes not because your own viewers are Ghana yeah other people also watch but maybe your own viewers most people that were you know you can see the people that were watching your video the country people maybe they are mostly like 99 percent of them are Ghana so you feel like if you don't talk about them no one watch you and as well some people too they will not watch I know they will not watch some people that were not even Ghana too wanted to know Ghana as you said I don't want to see Ghana through you don't want to see the country through you if they are not talking about it anymore they will not come and watch since they want to see through you through you English I think what you should be doing is to be giving people in full information, like, you know, relevant information. Don't mislead them. You understand? Do not mislead people. Give them full information. When you are talking about Ghana, Ghana that you say they want to see through you because you always talk about it, that's what your content is based on. You are supposed to be giving them the negativities that were there too, not only positivities. 
Because as I say, you you feel like you're actually trying to attract people to come to Ghana. The Ghana is best. Ghana is doing things. But at the end of the day, you not see anything anymore when those people are experiencing bad things. But when they are doing something good, and they want to talk about something good, you invite them to come and talk. As you being their interviewer, you be inviting them talking to them about it. That's not nice. Let them give the full information of what is happening to you. If you cannot say the truth, then don't talk about it. You understand? You are part of those people that were misleading people. Nigeria also misleading Nigeria to come to Ghana. You also know that you are experiencing what is not good there as well. Yes. But you wouldn't talk about that one. You only talk about something that is like good. If you talk about yourself personal, like your personal safe, that something is happening in Ghana to you, people will not even watch you. Did they? Those Ghana people that you are carrying on your head, they will not come and watch because I saw one video of yours recently now. And something like that can be happening in Ghana. Ghana that they said is like motherland Ghana. Ghana, country that is Kenekon, you care for people, you like people, you accommodate people. I don't understand that such thing will be happening to a child. A child. So what is your responsibility when you're actually teaching um, children? And that is those children you are teaching. Why can you be selecting and be saying, hey, this one is the difference? I actually think it's not the matter of only difference alone. You know. It's probably because that girl is in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you like, say it. If you like, don't say the truth. Let it die inside you. Let the truth die inside you. Leave it there. If you don't say the truth, say your mind. You are the one that will be having what are they calling this BP. So better spill it out. Say whatever is on your mind. So that's that on that. That's what I want to say about this video. So thank you so much for watching. And please comment down below whatever you think about this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.